Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Control. And on the last episode, I messed up the screen resolution. That, that's really my memory of the last episode. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't too bad, it was only uh, 11 minutes. Um, but yeah, I, I'm in the foundation of the oldest house, the place where it grows from. The board said that there's some type of intrusion and that I need to do some rituals in order to fix it. Now, I'm disappointed because I really thought that's where I needed to go, but the fact that uh, there's a control point that I already had, oh, also I can do that. <laughs> that's, that's really the other important thing that happened. Um, did they give me a new gun? I can't remember if, they, if there's a gun for each DLC. Cause, now, now I'm just backtracking like a weird. Well, let me just check the construct. No, there'd be a, it would show the at, yeah. So there's no gun, there's just powers, that's fair. So what am I even going to use these things on? I guess on absolute mods. Seize Excel, an absolute Seize Accelerator. Well, hello there. <laughs> All right, look, it's only five more, but I, I really like, I, these are the mods I like to use. That's what most of the, you get a personal mod and it seems useful. Incoming damage after seizing if I really want to be a seize face, but nah, we're good. So I need to, yeah, I, I need to figure out exactly where to go. I, I I really thought that was it, where I had already just gone. I was like, I see that thing down there. I gotta jump. All right. So I'll just wander around like a dumb for a while and figure it out. So I have to go up far. It doesn't. It makes zero sense that I would go back down. I don't know what I was thinking. I was already down. I must need to get. Ooh, is that? That looks promising. No, that's just how I get out, though, isn't it? That's just the regular way out. But can I go up even higher? Yeah! Huh. That looked like that could have been... I'm, I'm so gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> There's nothing. I'm descending. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. No, that was my last chance. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Look. So there's something there. Can I get there? Is there is there an outcropping that I can grow? Cuz look at that. There there's there's that. Um, let's try to get over there, but I can't imagine how. I'm below it after all. Is there outcroppings? There's one there, but that's too high, and there's one there, and that's too high. Hmm. So the only, the logical explanation would be once I go through this, it'll take me even higher. Yeah, this was higher than the last one, so this will be the highest. And then I should be able to jump to those other things that I saw. And then we can go to the fifth layer, and then hopefully that'll be the ritual is... Ooh. <laughs> Stalagta. Yeah, this is, this is where I was trying to get before. All right, so... There's some- ah, okay. Here it is. Yeah, there's two paths, I think, that you can access if you take one power. And then two paths with the other one. Eventually, you have to do all of them. Uh, so, you know, spoiler, I'm gonna- I'm gonna get the one that I didn't choose. <laughs> I was just trying to choose the one that had the coolest combat capabilities, and I think I did. Nice. interesting the control points here are different they're like ley lines or something someone just like carved them out hello what are they shooting at because it's not me uh are they shoot oh my god the astral plane guys are fighting the hiss they're not on the same side wow that's a really cool, like, story detail that I never noticed before. Like, they're ignoring me. All right, well, I mean, that's not going to change the dynamic much, but, uh... <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Space. Um, concussion sword. What the hell? Oh, crap, an invisible guy, really? 
Alright, who are you aiming at? Yeah, you guys should be friends. I think you'll get along. Oh, yeah, come here, buddy. <laughs> I just killed a big boy. Look at that. A fat coin purse. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of um, Elden Ring. I'm like 80 hours into Elden Ring. I'm probably, I'm, I just don't want to get people's loves up. I'm almost definitely not doing a Let's Play of it. Um, so much of that game is wandering around and getting distracted by a million different things. I, I think that would be a nightmare and take me over a year. Possible stream, though. But you can leave messages to other players within a very limited set of phrases. So it, they're just, I'm like thinking. <laughs> I mean, like, praise the tunnel. Fat coin purse. And sometimes people are actually able to make pretty effective jokes. You can rate the comments up and down. It's nice. It's a nice little aspect um, where you feel like, you know, you're, you're not alone. Uh, you beat a boss, you look in the messages, a lot of them will be like, I did it, or like, good job. This is nice, you know? You can leave your own messages, they get rated. I think if someone rates them, you get a little health bonus. Uh, that's pretty much irrelevant, though, because it's probably not going to come at the right time. But I right, was... I, I, <laughs> it's hilarious just to talk praises about Elder Ring, considering how insanely popular it is, but like... There's a reason. Like, even if you don't think you like Souls games, give it a try. I liked it and it killed a boss for, like, the first 30 hours. I just walked around exploring. And it was still fun, because the environment was so cool. But, you know, it's still $60. You can wait for a sale. Unless you're listening to this a year later. Which, awesome! I'm glad that people are still listening to my video a year later. Is this just effects? No, that is real. That is a passage. It's not just effects. Cool. Shifting fragment. Yeah, what are the shifting... Like, the shifting fragments are new, aren't they? That means there probably is a new, uh... A new weapon. Um... No, oh, that worked. Wasn't sure I was going to. There must be... There we go. Haha, <laughs> bullseye. Boing. Ha! Oh, wait. What am I supposed... <laughs> Where am I supposed to take you? I mean, obviously in there, but how am I supposed to get you in there? Hmm. Oh! Is this, does this lead to this? No. I, I'm assuming the elevator doesn't work unless I put that in. Because otherwise, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it's working. Okay, then what the hell does this power up, then? Weird. I'm sure it powered up something. I mean, maybe it can go even higher now. I feel like there's a tunnel that I missed, but I'm... I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll find out... Yeah, the elevator machine room had some tunnel. No, this is that's where I am now. Upper warehouse, okay. I... I was... I did so much editing on the last episode that I was like, maybe I should just do the warehouse, but I'm like... I, I released that the same day I made it. It needed to come out, but I bet this is it. And it took... it took me longer to get here than I thought, so... Well, I don't like what I just passed, but, um... It's in the past. The warehouse. The upper warehouse, specifically. Ooh. Another etching. Like the one I used to get in here. Cool. By the way, I think this is about time. Uh, maybe it's the terrible time, but... I know I have documents. The history of the oldest house. So yeah, that one... There's so many tree etchings. Dr. Ash is theorizing that... Um... The house has changed shape. And obviously that has to be true. This house is very modern. It looks like a uh, industrial complex like boardroom with everyone typing on computers. There's no way that's... Ex and the house, is, if it's the oldest house, has existed for long enough. It couldn't have looked like that. Um, so it might have been a tree before. <laughs> like, why not if it could take any form? Um, and maybe it's Eudrasil, the world tree. The tree of knowledge. It's possible. Yeah, so he's trying to find out the true nature of the board in this one. Uh, specifically what the triangle symbol represents. I mean, it represents the board, but, like, why a triangle? There's a lot of precedence for triangles in history. And inverted ones, 
means something different. So yeah, a meteor morphed a bunch of children into monsters, and the board took them, or the bureau took them, supposedly to help them. But I'm sure those children never saw the light of day again, because it... <laughs> this is about control, not benevolence. Oh, I want you on my side. You're part of the team. You, however, standing in the wrong spot. You don't get to join. Oh crap. <laughs> All right, Shatter's doing some nice damage. Now, I believe those guys have a long-range attack, so you can't just float above them, because otherwise they'd be useless. Uh-oh. I'm probably dead. I'll go. Damn it. I shouldn't have dropped there. It was right there. <laughs> it was right there. I was like, I'll just drop and run over and get the health, but if I had, uh... Dashed over to the health and then dropped, I would have been fine, but oh boy. Man, I would love to capture that invisible jerkwad, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I didn't even need to touch the thing again, alright. Good early capture. Good dodge. Where is he? There he is. No, not again. There we go. All right, <laughs> thank God. So many. Got another one. Wow, he's not going invisible. Wow, you were standing in exactly the right. What the hell, hacker? Hacker. All right. Damn it, he still hit me. Do -do -do. Okay. Whoa, speedy boy. Gotcha. Alright, if there's any more, we got a strong ally. And there's definitely more. Strongest ally. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe if you, um, if you capture one of these, it also heals your, um, like the other guys that you captured, so that they basically don't die while this is in effect. I don't know if that's true, but basically, yeah, it is true. Look at him. Look at that other guy. Um, the, the invisible guy, in fact. The, the reason that the hiss die is that they lose health. So, yeah, you can seize people indefinitely as long as that thing is alive. Of course, it will be losing health. I don't know what happens if you capture two of them, but I don't think two of them ever appear. Also, you're loud. All right. <laughs> now we can do the ritual without being interrupted. Ooh. Set by shiny objects. Always an interrupting. Locke's ancient reason. Is this the lock slash key the board told me about? I'm sorry, is the entire reason that this is happening due to the former? Because that was the former talking. Hmm. <sighs> Looking better. Well done, Decent. Only three keys Tethers. remain. Our nail is rebuilding. Loosening. Just doing my job. <laughs> you think Jesse gets paid? And how much? And by who? Well, the government. First one down. Director Faden's got this covered. All right, that is one of four locks. If I'm if I'm cool enough, I'll complete another one this episode. But I don't know. Um, I think we need to return to the home base now, because uh, that's the central hub. All all missions lead from the central hub base thingy. Uh, is there a hole to fly out of here, or is this the the end of the line? Yeah, it's the end of the line. I also, I think there's like nine or ten do uh, Dr. Ash blogs. I want to find them all. If I miss some, I will look up their locations, um, because... 
The story is essentially told through those. Health. So yeah, I should be able to warp back to the crossroads, which is why it's called the crossroads. Um, I mean, maybe there's other reason, but it, it's like, this is where all the different ritual points meet. All the different uh, locks, keys, tethers. Oh, hello. Oh, there's this also. Ley lines, cool. Director Faden. Uh, hey, how's it going? Um, where's the nail? Oh, there's the nail. Uh, by the way, you might notice uh, that there's an Emily Pope. No, you might notice that the nail is bigger now. It was shorter before. It is being restored. Everything down here is toxic. Yeah, it, it probably. You get keep your mask on. Jesse, hey. Emily, how did she get down here? What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire bureau, and possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? I put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. New mission, Pope's Collection. I believe that's related to the ID that I found last time. Now, why is she here? Because Jesse didn't call her. If you remember, there's a part where she said, I wish Emily was here. I could really use my head of research right now. And Parler Polaris pulsed. Her Polaris powers reached out to Emily and said, I need you, and guided her down here. But Jesse doesn't even know that she did that. I think that she is gaining a greater subconscious control of her powers, and when she gains control of them, she'll probably be able to purposefully telepathically contact and guide her team, which is very cool that that's just implied. I completely missed it the first time I played, um, but I watched a video that mentioned it, so very cool. Uh, let me talk to her again about that. Let's see if she gives me a mission. Jesse, you're back. So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. Except for bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. 
It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. All right, so hopefully, like, I actually gain, um, yeah, find five RD caps. I have two. I, I miraculously found Don't another one. I won't be, uh, I should get a move on, however. Uh, what do we got here? Two more. Oh, that's right. I found these. So there's this. Yeah, this is basically saying that pillar looks very out of place compared to everything else. And ley lines. So, yeah, they're studying. I think the ley lines are the, um are the control points here. And it's possible they're the control points on the upper floor too, but they look different because the older house always looks different. So you notice, I can't get there, I don't have the right ability, so that's not the next one I need to do. So we'll check over here and see if instead the way to get there is to manipulate. Wait, she, she has a thing over her head. This is my favorite director. All right, she has more to say. The Rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. All right, let's ask about the foundation. How did the Hiss get into the foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. They could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranatural materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. Roots. Interesting wording if this place did in fact used to be a tree. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. It, clearly it's highly classified, but... For what reason? The problem with these kinds of closed off hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. But now no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Any guesses why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. And before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. The astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. Yeah, you gotta hold her back a little bit. <laughs> you feel like she'd do almost anything for research. She's only gonna get more disconnected and crazy the longer she works at the Bureau. Like, I get why Darling picked her. So let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the Foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So, what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? It's a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Yeah, when Jesse asked, what is that light? Uh, that's the astral plane. <laughs> so, it's a problem. Uh, here? Yeah, this way. Yep, this is where I'm going.
These things don't stay forever. <laughs> you gotta keep on moving. Oh, I think I can make it from here. Yeah. Waha! Uh. Ah. <laughs> Didn't see it. Alright, hit my shins, but that's fine. And there we go. Oh, deadly geysers. I saw something. Did it die due to deadly geysers? Maybe. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. You weak enough. Looks like not. There we go. That'll do it. Come to me. Fight your former friends. Man, there's a guy over there that concerns me a little bit. Oh, never mind. I thought he was one of the bigger guys. He is barely a concern. Haha, <laughs> I thought I could damage him like that. I blew up the thing behind him. Okay, cool. Don't know if there's actually anything down here, but damn, there's two paths. Which way do I go? Uh, oh, I go to the other path because it's a dead end. I would say you always go to the dead ends first. Because there might be goodies. Goody, goody gumdrops. Goodies that are like personal mods that I'll never use, because I have my personal mods. And unless it's a better version of those personal mods, who cares? Let's see. Shifting fragment. Alright, I'm in. I. Is there really not another gun? I thought there was another gun. I don't know. I don't know. No. Oh, more, more shifting fragments. I went all that way to get a shifting fragment. Almost left two behind. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to grab? And the answer was him. There you go, guy. Take five. Oh, my. All right, back to Pierce, then. Pierced. That barely did damage. Alright, well now he's on me, obviously. I made myself known. What? Yeah, that, that machine gun guy is what I thought I saw before. When I was like, I'm worried about that guy over there. Thought it was one of him, and now it actually is one of him. Make a barrier. Damn it. Something. Ah, do I just need to go over there? I think I just need to go over there. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad strategy. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Alright. Um, hmm. How do I not die? Uh, <laughs> Is there health over there? I think there's health over there. Uh-oh. Am I falling down a... I'm falling down a... I'm falling down a cliff. What? Uh, 
If I get hit by even one stray bullet. I thought I saw health. There's some health. Probably not enough. Oh god. There's some health. <laughs> Alright, out of the red. I should probably capture them, but I, I wanted their health pickup. Uh, he's almost dead, though. I just gotta get him. Come on. This is this is like a boss battle. It's just a guy. It's just a guy, damn it. Crap. Is someone else shooting me? It's gonna be him. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh no, did he just... Oh my god. Well, that was pathetic. <laughs> I should have... I What I needed to do, I think, was switch to an explosive uh, weapon. I mean... Charge, really. Charge is the one that'll do the damage. But goddamn, that was annoying. Alright, it's gonna go differently this time, damn it. Because first of all, I'm not gonna kill the guys that are distracting you. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> if they're gonna start something. Well, I didn't want to kill him. <laughs> I wanted to capture him, but I'm too powerful. Where is this jerk? Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to not kill him if it's gonna die in two shots. Yeah. Well, I just did the thing that I said that I wasn't gonna do. Also, didn't know that there was uh, stuff behind here. Jeez. I mean, maybe I can just ignore that guy. Unless he's dead. What, what happened to him? There he is. Holy crap, really. You fell into a tiny crevice. I think I'm just gonna leave. I bet he has some add-ons, but like, if he's gonna be there, I'm not worried about him. What's he gonna do? This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? Well, that was cool. <laughs> he just kind of whacked through the wall. All right. Well, look, that's what I get for leaving him. I think he was offended. I get it. We all want to be taken seriously as enemies. But holy crap, is he not taking a lot of damage? Oh my god. He's gonna kill me again. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Can't believe it. I mean, was that a different guy? It, it definitely seems like that guy followed me. I don't know how he got out of the crack, but... Okay. Fine. Um, there we go. Alright, complete the ritual in the collapse department. So that's where I am now, the collapse department. Now I should... E. I should check... Um, oops, I don't want to mess up the title card. Behind that his barrier. So I need to remember that because I need shatter for that and I don't have it. Not, not the gun shatter. Oh, here we go. Remember I said there's a ridiculous mission? Well, meet the master of the mission. Simple Neki Nico. Seen elsewhere in the house with studies of luck. We'll get there. It's gonna be ridiculous, but we'll get there. I don't know how anyone's supposed to know how to do that, or even that they're supposed to do something there, but. Uh, yeah. Let me look a little bit closer at that hole. Yeah, once I get Shatter, I should be able to break through. Can I get up there? Oh. Looks like both powers are applicable there. 
But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they, you just need to get rid of the barrier so you could draw that part out. That's very possible. Oh, <laughs> that was just that. Getting a little bit jumpy here. A little bit jumpy. Okay. I mean, I do want to check over there. Can I, can I? Oh, that is not high enough. All right, we'll go this way. Polaris, I see you. Oh yeah, what I wanted to check was the um, ID thing. They might tell me, like, basically where the uh, ID is if I highlight that mission. Um, nope. <laughs> all right, so I'm definitely gonna need to look that up. Um, but I get oh, they're all in the warehouse. They're literally all in the warehouse. All right, that that's good information. So I've already been there. We'll we'll uh, we'll go back to the warehouse. I'll try to do that this episode. So we'll go back on you. Uh. Oh, yo! Wait, who is this? Oh, that's Darling. That's Darling and Trench and someone else. Maybe... That couldn't be Dr. Ash. He, he's too young. So I don't know who the third person is. Shift account. There we go. Now I can get back in there without going the long way around. And Kiev? Kiev? Oh, I can call a ranger. That means there's going to be some crap here, so. This is the director. I need a ranger at this location immediately. Let's do this! Response time's always amazing. Now I have two rangers! Cool. Uh, don't need three rangers. <laughs> I mean, I probably should have took him or whatever. He was in a weird, weird like closet. Right, he's gone. Yeah, he he's just stuck there. Well, I've done a lot of damage to a lot of different enemies. I'm not killing them, though. Go. Ah, I saw it coming. Still gonna dodge it. How am I missing? <laughs> Alright, bad at first-person shooters. Dodge? He didn't attack. Interesting that he canceled his attack because I was no longer going to get hit by it. Double kill! Haha! <laughs> they never dodged twice. Yeah, this is a crazy fight. Is my ranger still alive? Hut uh, snipers. Where'd he go? Did I kill him? How? Crazy. I guess the snipers don't... Oh, God, they're aiming at my rager. What the hell? What? I feel like I'm getting hit by some weird collision stuff recently. It's another... That I, I, yeah, there he is. I think he's the last one, but... Nope, he's not the last one. Push who back? Where are they? You should have better AI than the Hiss. You shouldn't get stuck in an office. Oh well. What? Cool. Woo! Didn't even take damage. Good job, Ranger. All right, it's time to do some uh, spring cleaning of my mods. 
Oh my god, I'm not gonna use any of these. <laughs> Alright, I got rid of like almost everything. <laughs> Alright, um where are we going here? Don't know if the ranger needs to come with me. Is this where I was or where I'm going? It's where I was. Of course it is. Of course it is. Can I do anything with my, like, gargantuan amount of source? I guess I can buy tokens. So let's buy a set of five tokens in case I ever actually want to do that. Which I do. I do want to do it eventually, so... That, that's a good place for source. Because if I die, I'm just going to lose an insanely large amount. Let's get an obscure weapon mod. Low... Ah, uh, yeah, that's, uh... That's a lot of damage, but I don't I don't like things where you need to be uh, damaged in order to, to do things. Oh, here we go. Oh my, I shouldn't have been by That was the last upgrade. So now I'm getting... I can get insane things if I have the resources, which I don't. <laughs> but that's fun. That's fun. Oh, I mean, we should get we should get an obscure personal mod that I'll never use. Dodge of yeah, I'm never using it. All right. <laughs> Waste of time. Uh, you can go home, Ranger. I'm pretty sure I called you for that. I mean, you can't go home. We're all trapped in the oldest house, but you know what I mean. Take five. Where I go, there are no roads or sidewalks or any. You gotta float. <laughs> you gotta be a para-utilitarian in order to continue me, thanks. I, I hear hiss. It's been a while since I heard regular hiss workers. Oh! Someone call a plumber. Glad no one was around to hear that. <laughs> Did you see that? Polaris just pulsed. Pol Polaris was like, I heard that, Jesse, and I'm not going to let you forget it. Uh, I just want to... No, I should go that way, shouldn't I? I just wanted to check this way. Ah, I'm on top now. And look, there's a hiss. There is a hiss. A hiss uh, office worker. The ones that just say the incantation. Ah, I said it right. Recently I've been saying ancantation, and I don't know why. Because that's not that's not the word. Hmm. 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 I mean, this all looks like this is probably extra. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no weapon mods that I'm not going to use. Where's the weapon mod? Oh, there's one. <laughs> I would have needed shatter, though. I mean, I, I probably should have gone through the astral plane. That's probably where I was supposed to... Ah, damn it. That might be an extra thing. I always want to go where I'm not supposed to go first so that I can get all the things, but... I see. Very cheeky. I don't know as that I'm actually going to be back in order to unlock those rooms unless they're associated with some type of special mission. Which they might be. Ah! All right, I'm glad I found this. I'm going to try to walk while I uh, play it. Which means, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter what it means. Oh, it's America Overnight. You're listening to America Overnight. A beacon in the darkest recesses of possibility for more than 29 years. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fondue set. A fountain. A blessed gift. Blessed is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Go on, they write. Dive on in. It is molten hot. Perfect for meat. No signature. As far as I know, no fondue set was sent to us here at the studio. Just this letter. Wait. I think there's something else in the envelope. Some kind of black powder. With white shards in it? Bone, maybe? Karen? What is this? Karen? We're on the air, Karen. Where are you? What? Well, is this powder in the booth? Is this... Is this ash? Oh. Oh, God. Karen? How do I cut to commercial? Warning. Altered item detected in Transport Bay. 
Access is prohibited for safety regulation 18.A. Maybe this isn't where I was supposed to go. Um, I don't know what the America United uh, overnight said because I haven't heard it yet. But yeah, I better I better get in there if this is an altered item situation. It's not like my other duties disappear just because the world has a, a more immediate threat. <laughs> No power. Typical. Okay. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna... So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure. Yeah, I should... I should hire someone who builds smaller machines. Yeah, I should, uh, I should probably check it anyway. Oh, power cores. Yay! <laughs> what? Where, where am I supposed to put these things in? Oh, here? Why does it work like that? <laughs> it's my question. Okay. leaving. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Is this going to go down? Good. No altered material detected in area. Personnel may now safely enter. Have a bureau full day. Oh, get out of here. You know Darling did that. Oh god, alright. <laughs> Do I have time for this? I don't know. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> no, no, I want you on my side. Holy crap. Alright. <laughs> Where'd he go? Not you. I know where you are. I want the other guy. He's probably dead. You probably blew him up. There we go. Alright, get him now. He's really annoying. Yeah! Take him back. I don't need him. I don't want him. I seized the big guy so much, I really just wanted to kill him. I probably should seize him. There might be more. Nope, he was the last one. I'm glad. It, it, it feels more satisfying to kill him instead of seizing him. Then he's, like, still there. Like, it's weird. Promising as anything. I mean, where are we? Yeah, we're, we're really in the bowels of the collapsed apartment. I just want to get that altered item taken care of. And then the episode will be over, but... I don't know where it is now. They moved it. Smash. Ooh, movie camera supplement. That That's what it was, isn't it? It's really not clear what this thing does, and they haven't had it for that long. Interesting. Huh. Okay. 
Oh, and here's the shift accounts. Um, I don't know if these are important. I'll just put them here, because I really need to end the video. I've been recording for too long. You gotta start the next episode. So I'll read those during editing. And I do, I hope this could be a huge mistake, but I'm gonna look through here. Yeah, because ju I just went through the collapsed apartment, right? Worst I've ever seen is take the nail. End of the world. So I can't let the hiss take the nail. Not a problem. I know how to handle that. Oh, I might as well finish. It's right here. Ah, all right. There might be there might be more editing than normal since I'm I'm well over an hour now. <laughs> Another etching. Get ready. Listen, hurry. Meet. Huh, I didn't have to fight his that time. So I'm definitely glad I'm doing this. You only have a limited time to pull them out before the other ones uh, retract. Okay, good. Hello? Board, are you there? Danger, Director, Board, Loki, Deeple, Understand, Tool, Other, New, Forbidden, Board. Given, Former, Yours, Necessary, Go. Okay, what the hell is going on? Wait, I'm back here? Screw it, this is a good place to end it. Um, it looks like the former has brought me back to here to choose the other power. Uh, that was not the board's decision. We're going rogue here, but um, I'm going to go out on um, Marshall's, Marshall's um, words. But I got no time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, as always. To my lovely patrons and i will see you guys next time when we get the shatter power and continue restoring the nail perhaps to an extent that the board actually wasn't hoping for later i snuck into the foundation through a back door i know had to get ahead of the hiss just a matter of bypassing the ritual protections luckily the board's as distracted as the rest of the bureau I had to put on a brave face up there, but the situation is the worst I've ever seen. We're getting back on our feet, but we've already lost so much. Trench is dead. Darling is... somewhere. I'm the only one left. But I still have a job to do. Keep the hiss back. There's not enough HRAs to spare, so I'll have to make do with what I've got. Frankly, I don't even know what will happen if the Hiss take the nail. Trench made it sound like it'd be the end of the world. He was never one to exaggerate. Well, orders are orders, even if they come from a dead man.